Hello kittens, it's Robin here with your daily spirit message reading. This is for Saturday, May 11th, and I'm using the Black Cat Tarot. So uh, I have absolutely no small talk at the moment, so I'm just going to launch into your reading. But I do want to send everybody love and blessings because I think you deserve them. And maybe just if you're, you're sitting and watching the reading anyway, why don't you give yourself a big hug? <laughs> Because you deserve it. You deserve a big hug from yourself and from the universe. So let's see what we have here. Oh, well, mm. um, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so you could be put in the position today where you might have to like defend yourself, your position verbally or step in front of somebody to defend somebody that is just not able to do so. Uh, the Queen of Swords, she's a very proud energy. So uh, just be very careful about the words that you say. I'm not saying that, you know, the person that you're going to come up against or the person crossing the line, they might not. They will probably deserve being pushed back a little bit. But you just want to be careful that the words that you say are going to be ones that you're proud of. Uh, maybe like six months from now, okay? Um, especially if you're in a public place, because I could absolutely see somebody videotaping you and you ending up on the news, and you don't want to look like some sort of a lunatic out there with the Knight of Swords where you're just like completely battle stations or, you know, if you're not the type of person to be confrontational, you know somebody that is with you that is, and you could just sort of spur them into action. So, you know, there is something to be said about the style that you use to approach a conflict situation, okay? And like, I like to favor, um, if anybody ever see a Clint Eastwood movie, I know they're super old, here comes Lacey, hi. But, you know, he om he's almost at a whisper, which I find is even more terrifying than somebody that is out of control and screaming and yelling and making a scene, okay? So um, you just keep it really, really quiet uh, in your approach, okay? Instead of like going way over the top here and like we're not Vikings like conquering beaches anymore, although th that would be fun, I think. So just kind of dial it down and just understand that People will change their demeanor, their demeanor and their tone so that they can listen to you. You don't have to match their energy. They need to match yours, okay? So always be mindful of how you're going to approach. Just take a beat and go, okay, this is how I'm gonna, you know, take care of this situation so that if it does actually end up on the news, I'll be painted in a good light. I'm gonna write that down, hold on. That's funny, um, while I was writing down the video title, uh, one of my guides was saying, so just remember also to look really good when you leave because there is a high potential for you to be in somebody's video that is going to end up on social media or you could end up on the news, angel number 333. So again, you can see that with this ace of wands, here you are looking fantastic and you're being recorded for all time and eternity by somebody that is an onlooker, okay? Um, and just remember that if you are in public, I just you can check the laws, rules, and regulations about somebody recording you. But I think it's kind of a free for all if you're in public, you know. So this is really interesting too. This is actually being set up to give you a really good opportunity to chase a future opportunity okay so it's probably going to change the direction that you're going in right now this is really an interesting card because this cat on the inside is blindfolded so i feel like what you need to do is take yourself outside of this situation before you open your mouth and say how would this look to other people so that i can accomplish this while looking graceful and you know, smoking hot and and just not like a lunatic. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Bye.